We're expecting lower prices the next few days until the 25th of October. However, if the market is breaking down below the 200 day moving average, it's likely to reach the next support levels fairly quickly and then bounce. So those who are short options, you may be very careful over the next few days not to lose your profits. The market may go down until Wednesday, the 25th, and then we're expecting a rally up until the end of the month or November 1, and then a further decline until November 8th. So the cycle is similar to what is done in other markets. It looked like the 1929 market, except of course the price levels will not be nearly as severe. Now the price levels we're expecting, the initial next support level is around 41.25 on the futures, and it's 39.50, the second level down, uh, which is also a target that's likely to happen. However, it may not happen until the 8th of November. So if it breaks to the 41.25 the next few days and it continues, fine, it could go to the 39.50 in the next few days. If it doesn't, it could bounce and then do it later. Note, after the low in November, we're looking for a decent rally coming in November. As you can see in the 1929 pattern, it rallied as you can see in the in the 1994 pattern which is actually the highest correlation fit to the present market it has a decline uh, after the first of november down to the equivalent of the eighth and then it rallies so it seems like we're close to a low here the price level may be significantly lower before it finishes but it's going to do it real fast and when it makes its bottom it's going to rally out of there very fast so if you have profits hang on to them keep your stops moving lower don't be too greedy to catch every penny of this thing. That's on one level. Okay. I also wanted to point out that we've been looking for a low in the second half of October, a rally until the 15th, and then another higher high on the 23rd. And we're looking for a price level which could revisit at least the 4,500 level and possibly higher by that time. And we're then we're looking for a further decline that could start at the end of the month and go forward in a sequence of steps where we wind up going down into February and finally April of 2024. The low in April, however, in 2024, we don't expect to be significantly lower, but it could be retesting the 3700 area or some uh, similar low area that we made from the lows in 2022. Okay. Notice there's a two and four year cycle in the market. The two year cycle started to top out in November of 2021. Could do the same thing in November of 2023. The actual high tick came in January 4th of 2022. It come in, it could be similar this year where there's a high in 2024 early in January, followed by a sharp decline. But we're going to have probably a 20% break before it's all done. If it happens now, fine. We should have a, res uh, a recovery rally followed by another decline next year that could match this one, possibly even be bigger than the one happening now in October.